3 p.m. after night's out. <laughs> Why don't you just listen for a minute? Cheeky transition. I'm a fan of transitions. What can I say? Yo guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. We're at that time of year again. It's summer. It's coming to the end of August actually. It's coming to the end of summer. September's around the corner and we all know what that means. Freshers. University. Freshers. Parties. Clubbing. Everything. The best time of your lives really. That's what that's what I've taken away from it. And I just want to come on here and give you some tips. Give some tips to freshers. Um, some, some things that I've learned from my lessons over the two years going into my third year now. If you don't know who I am, my name is Mima Ali. I study biomedical science at the University of Warwick. Going into my third and final year, unfortunately. It's been a good time Warwick, it's been a good time undergraduate degree but it's coming to an end but post-grad, masters hopefully, some more student vibe um, videos but the topic of today's video is tips for freshers slash I'm just gonna give some advice for freshers that are in a pandemic because it can be a daunting process but trust me it's amazing, it's the best time of your life. Anyway, let's get on to the tips. Before I get into the tips actually, I've made uh, last year, or no, two years ago. Was it two years ago? Basically, I have a previous tips for freshers video, or things that I wish I knew before university video on my channel, so check that out. And yeah, um, let's see if there's any anything new which there are, spoiler alert. So, let's get on to the tips. So, my number one tip, and most vital tip in my opinion, is don't overpack. You Simple, like you don't need to overpack, you're not taking a whole room to uni. Yes, you are mo moving into a room, but you're not taking a whole house worth of stuff. Um, you can always buy the small things that you forget. Focus on the main things that you need, whether stationary, towels, bed sheets, all this. Focus on those. The small things that you need, let's say you forget a knife. Okay, just go to your grocery store, your local grocery store or store on campus. Easy. What, a pound you're going to pay? Two pounds? It's nothing. But I have a list of essential items that I, I didn't forget all of them, but I feel like um, a lot of people do forget them. I definitely forgot some. Forget, I definitely forgot some stuff, and it was a pain. So, I'll give you a list. Number one, a clothes area slash clothes dryer, whatever you want to call them. The th the the rack you hang your clothes on to dry after you've washed it. I think they're called a clothes area. I forgot one, and it was a pain. Either I'd have to hang it, my clothes, my laundry places in my room. Uh, which would just take up my room, or I'd have to borrow my friend's area, you know who you are, thank you. <laughs> um, but yeah, don't forget a clothes area because it saves your life. Number two, don't forget a washroom basket, bathroom basket, whatever you want to call it. Just a small basket where you can put your shampoo, face wash, toothbrush, toothpaste in there. Especially if you're in shared accommodation. It just saves your life. Um, it's easy when you're going to the uh, like the showers. Um, everything's just there. You don't have to like carry shampoos, conditioners, body washes um, in your arms. Just in a basket with your towel or whatever. Take it all there. Bring it back. Makes your life so much simple. And when you're packing to move out or to move in, you've got a little basket to put every like your small things in. You won't forget small things. So yeah, don't forget all important documentation, um, whether that's a passport, obviously your bank card, um, I can't remember, if you have a car, I don't know, MRT or your, that certificate, I think it's called a V something certificate, um, 
just uh, your handbook, uh, just things like that. Don't forget important legal documentation. Say you make good friends, which I'm hoping literally everyone does. Um, maybe you guys want to go on holiday in summer. You need your passport to book a holiday. There you go. Or let's say something happens, you need uh, legal documentation. Just don't forget your passport and stuff like that basically. Your driver's license, passport, bank cards. What that? I got you, man. I got you. I didn't, I didn't think to take that, but I did in the end. This next one was honestly so clutch. It was a beast of an item. So, in uni, you'll have quite a few sockets, but take, ex ex take extension leads um, with USB ports in them. Honestly, it's so sick. Like, my extension lead had four plug sockets in there, plus two um, USB ports in there. Um, so easy. I charged my headphones and my phone in the USB port, and I had four extra plug sockets for my computer or for my laptop. Honestly, it's clutch. I only took one extension lead. Uh, luckily, my room in Westwood at Warwick had, well, it was like one, two, three, four, four, five, four to six plug sockets. It was good. Uh, I think most unis will have that. But taking this extension lead that also has USB ports in there, honestly, is a lifesaver. This one, I know I said this before, but this one, li literally vital, like, Necessity. If you don't do this, I'm sorry, your life's over. <laughs> um, multiple sets of bed sheets, duvet covers, bed covers, um, towels, hand towels. Multiple sets. You want at least two or three. Um, two is fine. Three is good, but two is. I did two, so it was fine. Um, just let's say you wash one set of bed covers or one towel, you always have another one to use. Um, you don't want to be towelless or bed coverless for a week or for a day. Um, so you, you you definitely do need multiple sets of bed covers, duvet covers, bed sheets, pillow covers, bed sets basically, and two towels, two or three towels, like body towels. So yeah. Finally, the final item on my list, essentials list, is. Basically, you want to make your room homely, yeah? You want to feel comfortable in your room, you want to hang stuff up, you want to, what? You want a hook on your door uh, to hang your bags, coats and whatever up. You want uh, hooks on your walls to um, hang up a painting or a picture. Command hooks. Either the actual command hooks where it's a hook you stick on your door and the velcro command hooks to stick up pictures on your walls and stuff. Um, just command hooks are beautiful items because they don't damage your walls or your door so the uni can't fine you because they fine you, if, even sometimes they'll fine you for having, do you know blue tack it leaves like a wet mark on the wall, they'll fine you for that, um, they'll fine you if you put holes in your walls if you want to hammer something in, um, so command hooks, if you want to hang stuff up on your walls, use command hooks, I had this like, I had this thing from Turkey that I bought, it was like a mat, it was like Middle Eastern-y because I'm like, um, I'm Middle Eastern so I bought like a little Middle Eastern mat, it had like patterns and stuff all over it. I, I hung that up with command hooks, not a nail, no nothing. Yeah, and it saved me from getting fined. So command hooks, very important if you want to hang stuff, hang stuff up on your walls. So. That's the essential list over with, but I just want to say, slow down, relax, breathe, have an open mind, and enjoy the time. I know it's a nerve-wracking process, but just take a step back. Look at your position holistically. You're going into an amazing institution. All the universities are amazing. It's this massive institution you're going into to learn about a subject at such a detailed level to make br like brand new friends, brand new friendship groups, network, um, have so many opportunities. Trust me, just don't panic, don't be nervous. I know it's easier to say than to do, but honestly, the first day you move in, 
might seem daunting, but I just left my door open um, and I just made friends on the first day straight away and I felt like I had known these guys. If there's a group chat for your accommodation, for your block, text in there, hi guys, um, just moved in, if everyone's free, let's meet up in the kitchen, get to know each other. That's what we did, we all got to know each other and that's where everything clicks off. It's it's because everyone's in your position, so everyone's nervous. So you you're all in this together. Um, but honestly, you are. So just breathe, relax, and trust me. Enjoy these three years. It's gonna be the best time of your life. I wish someone had told me this. Societies, societies, societies. Join every society that relates to you that you think you might enjoy, whether that's. I don't know, jiu-jitsu or, um, I don't know, like, French society or, I don't know, there's game societies, so there's like, League of Legends society at Warwick, um, and I'd say defo join, um, like, 100%, no, I might join, like, join your core society, so, for me, Biosoc, uh, join that, because they'll always do events, and join like, I don't know how to explain it, but like, societies that relate to your ethnicity, so like, North African society, um, I don't know, what else is there, um, Afro-Caribbean, is it Afro-Caribbean society, like ACS, um, all these different societies, I'm not North African, but I'm Middle Eastern, so I did go to like, some North African society events to support friends and they turned out to be sick like I had so much fun so join societies I still regret not joining because in my first and second year I didn't join societies apart from bio society bio sock um, and I regret it so in third year I'm determined to find a society whether that's sports or just something that I enjoy join societies trust me join every society that you think you would enjoy. Okay, so I made a mistake. I, so before uni, there's these like companies that sell tickets for your region, for your university region. So for me, uh, the University of Warwick is based on the out, like on the outskirts of Coventry. So there was this like Coventry Freshers uh, wristbands that everyone must buy. And I stupidly bought one that cost me like, what was it? 25 or 35 pounds I didn't even collect the wristband let alone go to the event only go to the proper SU uni events take advantage of your first year it's your first year you'll be doing so many different um, social things um, over academics like in second year academics killed me have fun do everything go to all the formals go to all society events go to all socials Explore your campus. One of the things I enjoyed the most was finding new places on campus because Warwick has quite a big campus. Uh, one of the things that I loved doing was exploring the campus. Like one day, I was just walking around and I found this like lake thing that led to behind an accommodation. It was just a this beautiful walk. Um, but yeah, take advantage of first year. Um, it's your most relaxed year, but keep your course in mind, keep your degree in mind because at the end of the day you're paying nine grand to get an education, to get a degree and you still do want to be like aiming for a good grade if you want a good grade. So find that right balance. I'd say I didn't balance it well, I prioritised academics over social Lizing more, um, but in second year I fixed it up. And finally, my last tip, you'll be clubbing, you'll be drinking, you'll be blacking out, you'll be throwing up, you'll be you'll be a party animal, yeah? Um, but remember to take care of your health, you want, have fruit man, like fruit is a paying food item um, and it's good for you, you want to like balance yourself right you're gonna be drinking in freshers week you're gonna be drinking basically every night if you drink and if you don't drink you'll be clubbing every night waking up late 
you'll just be socializing every single day for a week and that will take a toll on your body everyone gets fresh as flu I got fresh as flu which lasted a couple months um, and I got it really bad like later on so take care of your health one thing I, I just kept eating rice chicken and fruit like here and there but have fruit, have veg, have smoothies, D just go Tesco and buy a meal deal and buy the smoothie and a box of fruits or whatever. Take care of yourself, your health, because uh, remember, you, you want to be feeling good for these socials, you want to be feeling good for uni, you don't want to be like, more groggy and just feeling down or under the weather. So, from a biologist, listen to me, yeah? From a biologist, you need your vitamin C, my friend. You need your vitamin A, vitamin D. <laughs> um, but yeah, take care of yourself. Have fun, and it will be the best time of your life. Fam, I'm telling you, first year was amazing. Second year was amazing. I still feel like a fresher man. I still feel like I'm a new uni student. I'm, I'm just going to be doing more stuff in third year. Trust me, you'll have so much fun. And if you want to ask any questions, find, in, find anything out, feel free to message me. Uh, ask in the comments, message me, connect with me on LinkedIn. Check the description, my Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn are all in my um, description below. That's the end of the video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.